Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2, Mask of the Betrayer. This is Big Los, and we are inside the Death God's vault. Yes. So in the last episode, I did not adjust Kaylin's behavior because I'm pretty sure it has her on overkill spellcasting, so we're going to switch it back to scaled. We'll put dispel spells on. And I think there was a polymorph thing here. Yeah, there it is. Let's turn that on. Yeah, I think that's it. And we also did not give her any better armor than what she had. So let's do that right now. She has a half plate plus four. I believe so. So let's go into the greater magic bag. And, well, first let's give this to Gan. Because yeah. he has a spear, so he might as well be using the frost harpoon anyway. So he could do some extra cold damage. Yeah, I know the bow does a higher attack bonus. But for melee, so. we're going to have to be using yes. the spear for him. So having put the greater magic bag into Kaylin's inventory, we put on this armor and it boosts her AC up to 31 from 28. How about this one? No, that one only improves it to 29. So the breastplate of hidden Emiscar will be the armor that she's going to use. It gives her the greatest AC bonus. Which of course we want. And she might as well put on the shield of faith on herself to improve it even more. Although the deflection bonus does not stack with whatever else she has. Let's see, that only lasts for six seconds per level. Hmm. Any other buffs that you've prepared? I guess not. Okay, we'll give the bag back to the captain. Well now, what do you want? Now before we explore anywhere else around here, let's check out this door that Kaylin was studying for so long. For days countless. First thing it's gonna do is try to unlock it. The door is black, gleaming even in the dim light of the shadow plane, and etched with cur curving runes. It seems crude somehow, like a lesser copy of a grander work. The keyhole, if indeed it is a keyhole, is a thin vertical opening. It seems more suited to a smooth metal blade than an ordinary key. Sophia, those runes are unfamiliar to me. Have you seen them before? These runes are familiar. I've seen them before. Though I can't recall their exact meaning. Alright. Hmm. I'm half certain that they've been altered, etched a second time to distort their meaning. If they've been written properly, I think they would have considerable power. A force that would defy or unmake reality. So, okay, so let's open the lock and try to force it open. Failure. The lock is unlike anything you have seen. You can't feel any pins within. The lock seems to be as featureless on the inside as it is on the outside. You suspect that the mechanism is operated entirely by magic. That the lock is opened by a specific enchantment on whatever item serves as a key. After examining the lock carefully, you are fairly certain that this key is a curved edge blade at least as large as a standard longsword. So we're going to leave the door alone. Now let's go check out this ancient mosaic for clues. This mosaic is very old, picked out in gleaming tiles of black and gray. It depicts a ferocious battle scene, a swirling melee of humans, fiends, and others that you cannot make out. Hmm, oh, interesting. Your eye is drawn to a figure that stands nearly in the center of the battle, facing a towering fiend. His sword is raised above his head, bright silver, with an unmistakable shape. It is a sword that you know. No, it can't be. The Sword of Gith? The shape of the sword is unmistakable. 
The figure portrayed in the mosaic, whoever he was, bore the sword of Gith as you once did. Okay, let's examine the mosaic more closely. Each of the tiny figures has been created with great care, representing human and demi-human warriors, fearsome devils, winged celestials, and a single horde dragon. Oddly, you have difficulty determining who is fighting whom. Some humans seem to be allied with the devils, while others oppose them. The sword bearer is clearly fighting against the devils, but so are the dragon, the celestials, and many of the humans. A strange company of allies indeed. All right. Something you require. Do you know anything about this? I guess you don't. All right. Can we get any more clues from this door? No, leave the door alone. Okay. All right, so if we open the journal, does it mention anything about the sword? I mean, we had it at the end of the game, and just like all of our other items in our inventory, we don't have it anymore. So, how are we going to get the Sword of Gith? It's a good question. I guess there's no more clues really around here, so we're going to go in here because the other door is locked and we can't get in without the key. So why don't we... cast a scroll. Planar Binding. If we're successful, we'll get a Celestial Bear. Is that a bear with angel wings? Let's find out. Now the reason we're doing this is because there are mummies here and we failed. And these mummies are practice spellcasters. They're quite difficult to beat and there's four of them. Oh well, we might as well just go in here and just do it. All who can hear, follow. Okay. You should summon something. It's too bad all your best spells are all used up. Uh, I guess summon creature six is the best we could do. Yes. What about you? No, you used up all your best spells too, didn't you? Oh well, I guess you'll be like artillery or something. Let's try this mass hold monster. To me, my allies, I shall lead. And well now, let's have at it. Yeah, let's have the captain run up here. Oh, you dispelled all my buffs, you bastards. Okay, so Looks like Kaelin cast Silence, so those mummies aren't going to be casting any more spells for the time being. Shall we indulge ourselves? Neither is a captain, but that's okay. He can't cast spells anyway. And turn undead. Now it looks like it's not working so well. Now how did that race appear? Oh, because that urn right there got destroyed. Whenever you disturb these urns, a wraith will come out. Oh, Sophia gained a level. Pretty cool. Alright, so that killed the wraith and the mummy. Got that in. Oh, you summoned a planetar? What'd you do that for? Alright, I hear somebody fighting. Where are you going? Okay, what's going on here? Oh, okay, that urn got destroyed, so there's another wraith. That's what's going on. Okay, Captain Fuse is dealing with wraith now. Yeah, that ain't nothing to a boss. Alright. So let's pick up this essence. And 
let's give these all to Sophia. Let's see. I think we're gonna sell that cloak. What's the point of it? Protection against good? Since when are we gonna be fighting anybody who's good in this game? Anybody who we're gonna be fighting is gonna be pure evil. Except for the nature spirits, then they're just neutral. What's your bear doing over there again? Oh well, I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, so this is the scriptorium. The scratching in the air. They are the spirits of the scribes, still penning local scriptures, even in death. Yep, you can hear it, even though you can't see the ghosts. And we got a scroll here. Greater Shadow Conjuration. It's an illusion spell, so Sophia cannot cast it. It's a school of opposition for her. So the captain will keep it, just in case his used magic device goes up. Then he'll be able to cast it. And up here we got another scroll. And it's another Greater Shadow Conjuration. Well, lucky us. Okay, here's another scroll. What's this harm? No, Sophia can't cast that. So the captain will just keep it. Okay, there's nothing special about these bookcases. Right now I'm looking for scrolls. Some hidden scrolls. Anything else hidden around here? Oh, there's one. Alright, and this is Create Undead. Now, I think Sophia already has that in her spellbook, so we're just going to keep it. Undeath to death. I know yes. she doesn't have that one, so we're going to scribe that. Okay, added that to the spellbook. Come on, follow along. And you see these giant books? That's what's being written in by the ghosts. That's why this is the scriptorium. And we got another scroll here. Circle of Death. Yes. Sophia doesn't have this one either, so let's scribe it. I believe so. Okay, any other scrolls around here that we missed? No? Okay. Sometimes they like to hide them in clever spots. Like back there, they put the scroll up on top of the bookcase. Oh, here's one over here. So what did we get? Acid Fog. Conjuration Sophia cannot cast it, so we'll just hang on to it. We'll try to make use of it sometime in the future. Alright. This immense book is filled with a strange handwritten script. Seems to be items or list of names. Let's... Bang this gong. This gong is tarnished and ancient. Its surface is etched with a procession of rope scribes carrying the quills and books of their trade. Strike the gong. As the sound of the gong reverberates, several ghostly scribes materialize throughout the scriptorium. Alright. Well, now we can see them. Must have had the effect of a true seeing spell or something. I wonder if you cast true seeing if you, you would be able to see them. Probably not, because that's just the way this game is set up. If I was running the game, of course you'd be able to see them. It would just be another way to see them. Now, the only one you could talk to is over here. This is the chief scribe, so let's have a word. The ghostly figure turns very slowly to look at you. As his eyes meet yours, you detect a flicker of puzzlement. Alright. A tale, a tale of deception, deception is writ plain upon, upon your soul, soul supplicant, supplicant, and you are you both, both the deceiver, deceiver and the and deceived. deceived. You will you not, not find truth within, truth within these walls, walls. But, but when, when you, you see the lies for what they are, are you will you return, return to us, us I think. think. I don't understand. Can you speak plainly? I cannot. I cannot. My, My eyes are trained, trained to read, read the words, words and, and discard the meanings. Thus, Thus, it has it always has been. been. I am, am Diomedes, chief scribe and supplicant before the Lord, Lord of Bones. Bones. 
All that passes through my Lord's gates is recorded within these tomes and ledgers. We record, my scribes and I, but we do not remember. Our scribblings are the mind and memory of Merkel's vault. Okay, lore. Merkel, the former god of the dead, he was slain and replaced by Kelenvor. Why do you still labor here? It is words that bind us to the vaults of our Lord. Our souls are graven upon its walls. Our name is written upon its foundation stones. When one, when one scribe, scribe replaces another, another, the name the of the old scribe would be wiped, wiped clean, clean, and he and would he be would free to pass beyond to the City of Judgment to join with the Scriveners who came before. But a but great betrayal was committed here, supplicant, and, and we stood by and watched. So taken were we with the traitor's resolve, with the dream that he spun for us in words and deeds. And when, and when that, that treachery, treachery was put, put to an end, end we were held, held to account account with all the all rest. The rest. Ours, Ours was a simple, simple retribution, retribution, an effortless thing. thing. No, no more scribes were appointed, and our names were never, never wiped clean. clean. And so, so here we remain. remain. Let's do the insight. You're talking about the Betrayer's Crusade, aren't you? That is, that is what, what we, we called, called our treachery, treachery yes. yes. A pretty mask to hide an ugly face. Who was this traitor? Hakachi, High Priest of the Temple. He is called by some, the Betrayer, who laid a great host against the City of Judgment. For the love we bore him, we shut our eyes to his treachery, and for that reason we stand before you now. But you were mere bystanders. Your punishment hardly fits the crime. Great, there's somebody here. Alright, I'll be back in a second. Ah, but you, ah, but do, you not do not know, know the, the nature, nature of the treachery. Of the treachery. We, we have always have held that, that our punishment, our punishment was just and deserved. And we will speak no more of it. What is contained within this vault? All that is recorded in our ledgers you will find in the chambers below. Ancient tomes, prisoners, and treasures of the faith. What ancient tomes are stored here? Every book, Every book of the, of the faith, faith was brought, brought to the scriptorium and copied by my scribes, scribes or by those by who those preceded us. All were All delivered into the archive below to be tended by our mummified remains. After our soul, souls ascended to the city of judgment, nothing, nothing of us was wasted. Go below and perhaps you will even find my corpse, supplicant. Prisoners were housed in this vault? Many enemies were made to disappear, supplicant. Those, Those who, who defied, defied our, our Lord's, Lord's faith, faith necromancers, necromancers who practiced crafts crafts forbidden even by, even by our, our church, church, and the and depraved, the depraved murderers, murderers and worse, delivered, delivered to our gates by the witches of Molten Tear. Such, Such was, was the price of building this vault on their, on their sovereign, sovereign ground. ground. We, we disposed, disposed of the worst of their of race. race. All, All were imprisoned in, in the endless dark, dark below, below, never to emerge until death took them, and their bodies were sent to the furnace. You say there is treasure below? Yes. yes. Much was Much stolen by those who betrayed our faith, faith and employed in their, in their battle against our God. God. But, but some, some, no doubt, doubt remains. remains. Alright, let's talk about something else. Then speak, speak supplicant. supplicant. We are we bound are by, by our fallen Lord, Lord to listen. listen. Okay, how do I unlock the door to the lower level? Our high, high priest, priest held the key. key. I do, I not, do know not know his faith. faith. It is, it is not, not recorded, recorded in our ledgers. I am seeking a scroll. The Lamentations of the Dead. Will I find it here? The ghost turns to his massive ledger and is silent for a time. His eyes narrowed, mouthing words to himself. Whatever language he is speaking seems somehow familiar. Yet you cannot quite comprehend the words. Yes, 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 yes. The, scroll the scroll is contained is in the archives, archives below. Below, below. Are there any necromantic tomes within this vault? Many, Many such, such books and scrolls, scrolls may be found, may be found in, the in the archive. Our, Our Lord's, Lord's faithful, faithful were connoisseurs, connoisseurs of the necromantic, necromantic arts, arts, and every, every book they possessed was copied in, in the scriptorium and sent to the archives below. below. I cannot be sure what, what books, books remain and which have fallen, fallen to, to dust. dust. I only I know, know that, that countless necromantic, necromantic tomes were marked in our ledgers and carried below into the lower vault. Farewell. And to you, supplicant. All right, so we got a couple of more clues. 
we have to go into the vault to get the Lamentations of the Dead Scroll and to get any other books to bring to Yusuf the Acolyte in Molson Tier at the Temple of Kalimvor. So here's another room to the north of the Scriptorium, so let's go up in here. Check it out, there's a bunch of offering urns for you. See what's inside. We got three Death Knights kneeling at an altar. Let's see what happens if you click on one. What world dares to disturb us? You will never leave this place alive, and when you are dead, I shall see to it that you join us in our eternal vigil. Okay, these death knights are kind of difficult. Shall we indulge ourselves? So, let's of use course. our strongest spells that we have. Why are you casting that spell? For the crusade. And, okay, and death to death, that, that's a pretty strong spell. Against undead, and then you can turn undead. See if that works better than against the level 5 priest. Alright. Looks like one of them died. That was pretty good. And he's... No, do not cast that. I need you to heal the captain. He's taking a ton of damage. All you have is cure critical wounds. Okay, so the captain had greater visibility cast on him, so since he made an attack, now he has 50% concealment. So that's better than nothing, I guess. Let's see, did that do anything? As easy as dreaming. Okay, so you summon uh, elemental. Yeah, the captain is taking a lot of damage. Why don't you drink one of these heal potions since we seem to have a bunch of them? Alright, you know what? Maybe we, we should have the captain drink another. There we go! Now we can resume fighting these guys. Okay, he's injured. That one's near death. Let's take this guy out first. I think somebody must have cast slow on these guys. Alright, there goes another one, and Dan gained a level now. Okay, after this battle, we'll level... Both Gan and Sophia up. Alright. Oh, it looks like Kalen killed him with some acid. And we get the Death Knight's key. We're gonna need that for the other locked room that was east of the great door that we need to open. We got the Bone Dancer's ring. Let's give those to Sophia. She'll hang on to him. Okay. I think we'll give that to Gan. He's got a ring of power, but he also has a ring of resistance plus three that I think we can replace. It'll lower all of Gan's saves by three, but then he will pick up immunity to death magic, ability and level drain, and resistance to piercing and slashing ten. I think it's a good trade-off. So let's level Gan up. We'll recommend his skills. Oh, and then we get to choose a feat. Hmm. Anything interesting? I'm surprised he didn't take combat casting before. Should we do an item creation feat? I gotta research to see if there's an item I want to craft that only Gan has access to a certain spell. I'm 
might do that. It recommends combat casting. Yeah, I guess we'll pick that one. And then we got three level 9 spells that we can choose. One level 8, one level 7, and one level 6. Wow, that's quite a few spells to choose from. Hmm. Well, what happens if we recommend? Yeah, it's gonna... Okay, so we got Premonition. Yeah, that's a good one to get. Hmm. Well, I guess we can remove one, so it's tough to see which one that we picked, or that the recommend picked. Elemental Swarm is a good one. Mass Drown. Create water in the lungs of the subjects. Hmm, I'm not really too sure about the efficacy of that one. Summon Creature 9. What about this one? The affected animal gains... No, we don't have any animals. That's the thing about the spirit shamans. They don't get animal companions like druids do. Well, I, I wonder which one it picked. Maybe it was Creeping Doom. I think we will keep that one, though. That's kind of a, a good spell to use. We used it quite a bit in the original campaign with Eleni. Hmm. And we're at a level where we can remove some spells if we don't want them. And swap them out yes. with another. But we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to level up Sophia. And we get two spells. What does it recommend? Morning Cannon's Disjunction and Shape Change. No, I do not like those. I want to get some level 6 spells. Let's get Flester Stone. And... How about a level 7 spell? Anything good here? Hmm. Maybe energy immunity? Yeah, we'll pick that one. Alright, and then we get a level 7 spell and a level 9 spell, so... Maybe we can do... What's it gonna be? Energy drain. Yeah, that'll lower the levels of the enemies. And then, I guess we'll pick another Morden Kanan sword. I believe so. And that should be it. Let's check out one of these urns. We get a... Drum of Haunting, remember that from the original campaign? We can animate some dead, we get some gold, but then we get a dread rain. And yes, if you loot all of these urns, the Dread Wraith will come out of them. So we're not going to loot them for right now. We want to save the Dread Wraiths for later. We're going to need them. This will be the only one that we're going to get. And you'll find out why later. So let's pick up this Volatile Fire Essence. And then we'll make our way over into that other locked area that we didn't go into. What will we find there? Find out next time. This is Big Los signing off. See you next time. Thanks for watching and Tenga Un Buen Dia.